it's important that people have choices. They shouldn't have to burn a gallon of gas to get a gallon of milk. Half the trips that are taken every day in America are within 20 minutes on a bike. A quarter of them are a 20 minute walk. An investment in bicycling is an important part of a overall effort to reduce congestion, air pollution, meet climate action goals, ensure that you have a healthy community. Cities around the world are doing whatever they can to improve the feel, the attractiveness, and the economic competitiveness of their cities. And that means investing in sustainable forms of transportation. And that increasingly means investing in a high quality cycling network. In New York City, we've laid down some 250 miles of on-street bike lanes in the last four years alone. We've seen a 66% increase in cycling over the last two years. So people are voting with their feet, they're voting with their puddles. What we're doing here is creating the kinds of street designs for cycling that really work. So we're building out an entire network of protected bike lanes. Every single place where we protect the cyclists physically we've seen a 50% reduction in injuries for all users in the corridors. New York City is not alone in the incredible investment that it's made in its cycling infrastructure. You see it all over the country. You see it in Columbus, Ohio. You see it in uh, Boulder, Colorado. You see it in San Francisco. You see it in Portland. I mean, this is a national movement. This has become a fundamental mainstream form of transportation. Here we are in beautiful downtown San Francisco on Market Street, San Francisco's Main Street, where you can see more and more people are riding their bikes because it's becoming more and more comfortable and more and more inviting because of the changes that we're making in Market Street. You know, in 1993, we weren't the bicycling capital of America. 17 years later, for the equivalent cost of a single mile of freeway, we now have a, a bike infrastructure. We had about 2,500 bicycle trips every day across the bridges on the Willamette River. Since then, we've invested in our infrastructure. Today, our daily bike count is now 17,000, from 2,500 to 17,000 and for every mile of improvement we make on the bikeways we are always surprised at how exponential growth is in terms of bike riderships. If you get a, a certain level of basic bike connectivity that means it'll turn out riders. The fact there are more riders visible on the street means more people will say hey look at they're doing it we can do it too. If we're going to continue to grow and thrive and accommodate the million more people that we're going to have living in New York City by 2030. We can't accommodate those people with cars. We need to accommodate those people through more sustainable forms of transportation. An opportunity for us to help people with the big picture, giving them choices, reduces the demands for the automobile and allows them to reach their destination using the tools that are appropriate for them. It saves them time, it saves them money, it improves their health, and it frankly enriches their daily experience.